Okay, so the soldering iron was set up after I just had a look at repairing my Sony Mdura 7506 headphones. They now work. Hooray! I just don't like this plastic plug and I have to have spent five bucks on this shiny one. So I may as well put it on. Quick video, how to put on a plug on a headphone. So, I need helping hands, soldering iron, pliers, other pliers, soldering iron, solder. Let's go. Because this one was already done by moi a few years back. Um, I'm just going to desolder it. Must have had budget cuts or something. I only have the really cheap plug. That is why you wear safety glasses. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so the red one is on the right. On the ring. Green one is on the tip. And the non-coloured one is our ground. So most people you'd just be chopping this off. Chopping off the old connector. Like this. Just chop it off. Chop it off. This is the old connector. But, uh, maybe I'll put that... Uh, uh, Decisions, decisions, decisions. Number one thing whenever you're putting on connectors is the things that have to go on that screw on to the connector need to go on first before you forget about it. As you can see, these wires don't don't have a um, like a plastic around them. It's just the wire, and it's got. I guess the easiest way to explain it, it's kind of like paint around the wires so that they don't interact with each other. It's really annoying to get off. You've got to scrape and scratch and stuff. Um, that's why I desoldered it instead of cutting it because I didn't want to have to do that again. Okay, soldering a connection. Put our connector in some hands. If you don't have hands, get a friend. Add the heat, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add the solder. Don't add the solder onto the soldering iron, add it onto the thing that you just heated heated up. Do that for all the bits. The bottom bit's the ground. This bit is the ring, which is that bit there. And this bit is the tip. How can I tell? Because this bit goes into the middle here, and the middle bit goes all the way through the entire connector onto the tip. If you don't know, you need to work it out, use a multimeter. Okay, so we've added some solder there, there, and there. Let's grab our wires. We add a bit of solder. Again, count to ten, maybe seven. Ideally you don't want any of that black gunk. And there's some on the end of my iron. Clean the iron with one of these sponges that's two bucks. Just add a bit of water to it. There we go. 
Again, do as I say, not as I do. Hold the iron for 7 to 10 seconds prior to adding the solder. Okay, the next thing is we need to measure everything. So when we stick this in here, got enough length on everything. You want the... This is the strain relief on the cable, so you want that to be nice and snug. We could add a bit of heat shrink. I had some the right size. Uh, which doesn't look like I do, so I won't. I try not to use the helping hands on the main part of the connector. If I can help it. I don't want to damage it. So now that there's solder on both bits of the metal. Now when we apply the heat, they'll just melt into each other. Watch your fingies. Ta-da! One. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, was it green? Green for left, red for right. Green. Or is it the other way around? Red for left. Is our left? Is our amazing speaker tester? Green for left, red for right. So the green, the left, the left is the tip here. The ring is the right. Easy way to remember it. Uh, for right, ring, right, right ring. Um, get some other helping hands so we don't burn the fingies. Don't want to burn the fingies. Again, add a bit of heat and away she goes. And don't burn the fingies, add a bit of heat. You can see that we don't have to use the 10 second rule here because we've already done it. But it's so much easier on ourselves. We don't want to make it hard. Have a quick inspection. It's okay. There's a bit of black gunk in there, which I'm not too happy about. That should be right. That one is much better than that one. And we'll solder down the bottom. Cool. Um, before we go clamping this off, we shall test it. My amazing adapter that took me 10 minutes to go find. And they both work. Hooray! So now we can clamp this down, which you could either use little pliers like these guys. Oh. Feeling adventurous, you do something a bit larger. The point of this is that when someone yanks on the headphones or you left them plugged into something and you go to walk away or the cat grabs them or your two-year-old child or whatever the case is that instead of the join soldering joint taking the blow this part of the wire does. Mm. Don't want to be able to pull stuff to. Now you could put a bit of uh, heat shrink and all that sort of jazz on there. Got my bit of plastic. A bit of plastic just stops these guys from hitting the edge. Screw it all together. Look at that! 
Isn't that beautiful? Compared to the ugly, crappy, broken plastic one that we had just 11 minutes earlier. Oh. Looks just like I bought one. Show me about this crazy cable. Anyway, enjoy.